Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tips. I'm Pam Kaslauskas and today we're going to be talking about one of the critical functions of property management, your affirmative fair housing marketing plan. For those of you who may be new to marketing plans, this is what your affirmative fair housing marketing plan is supposed to accomplish. It is designed to reach those least likely to apply for your housing based on their membership in certain protected classes. It's going to use a combination of methods in which to reach them. It requires that you analyze your area demographics to see who is the least likely to apply. It requires that you document your advertising. And HUD requires that you periodically review it to make sure that it is accomplishing its goals. <clears throat> So the first thing you need to do when you're doing your marketing plans is look at who is least likely to apply for your property. What you're going to do is look at a number of different demographic reports to decide this. So you're going to look at your resident and your applicant population. You're going to look at the demographics for your existing property. So you're going to look at uh, race, ethnicity. You're going to look at disability. You're also going to look at your census tract information. And then typically you're going to be using an expanded marketing area that's outside of the specific census tract that you're in. And that's often either the county or the state that you're in, depending on the diversity of those areas. One of the common questions that people have is, can I do advertising in addition to my marketing plan? you absolutely can do additional advertising. So remember, your affirmative fair housing marketing plan is looking at those least likely to apply. So it's looking at people that may not hear about your property or that are, are least likely for a number of reasons to apply to it. So you're looking there to go, okay, these groups don't hear about my property. They don't know about my property. Let me make sure they do. You can always do extra marketing. As long as you meet your affirmative fair housing marketing goals, you can certainly do advertising beyond that to make sure you have enough applicants on your wait list. The only caveat to that is you must follow fair housing rules. So you want to make sure that the terms and the logos and other things that you're using meet fair housing requirements. So you have two options when it comes to a marketing plan. You're either going to do a full plan and send it into HUD for review, or you're just going to do a five year review. A full plan where you actually send that off to HUD and get approval is only needed when you have certain situations. When there's a new property being built or a new contract, a change in the management company. So if you go from ABC management to greenhousing management, you're going to need a new marketing plan, a change in the owner, or a significant change in your demographics. So if you're least likely to apply groups have changed, HUD is going to want to see and approve that marketing plan. Full marketing plans go into whoever your asset manager is at HUD, and you want to be sure that you keep proof of having submitted it. As I think we all know, um, items that we submit to HUD have been delayed significantly lately because of HUD staffing situation. So you may not get that approved very quickly. What you want to do is submit it, get proof that you submitted it, and then you can operate on that marketing plan until HUD gets back to you with either yes, it's approved or we'd like you to make some changes, but at least you are doing marketing based on what your plan is. So if you don't need to do a full marketing plan, you're going to be doing these five year updates. The process is you review the demographics to make sure they haven't changed. You're going to check all the contact people and organizations that you've listed to make sure that there haven't been any significant changes to that. You're going to update your ads and letters if you need to. HUD approval is not required of your five-year updates, but you should keep documentation that shows that you did it. There's, there's no set format for that. Some people just do a narrative. Um, so you either could do using the 935-2A form, which is the marketing form, 
and then signing and dating that to signify when your update was. Or you can use a copy of your previous marketing plan with a narrative. You just want to make sure that whatever documentation you're using shows that you reviewed it and determined that it doesn't need any significant changes. This is that 935.2a form. So this is your actual marketing form. You can find that on HUD Clips. Just do a search for the form number. I think it, it has a uh, HUD 9 forms, HUD 8 forms. So just go in there and do a search for the form. Um, you, this is the form that you're going to complete and submit to HUD when you need a full marketing plan. You also have to attach a number of things. And you can, if that's the way you choose to do your update, use it to just kind of do a, a five-year update, listing any information that you found. Some key elements that you want to watch. Unless your area is very diverse, unless you live in an extremely diverse census tract and town, you are very likely going to be using this expanded housing market area. That's typically a county or a state. You want to make sure that you're filling all of this out, project number, or your uh, unit number, your census tract, and your housing marketing area. So you want to make sure that all of that is filled out if you're sending it to HUD. If you're just keeping it internal, you don't necessarily have to fill out everything. You're going to be listing demographic information. It's going to ask you for your residents, your applicants, and your census tract. And then if you're using expanded area, it's going to ask you for that expanded data as well. So this is percentages. Here is where you can find census information. It is not the most user-friendly site in the world, so I would recommend that you go in and play around with it a little. There are a number of tables that you can look at. There are two reports specifically that you can look at that I find very helpful when updating marketing plans. Those are the DP1 and the DP02 reports. And remember that they may not be available for all selections. So you may find the DP1 report for tract, but not for county or for county and not for state. So you do need to play around in there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, we will be doing a bonus episode on locating census data at some point. Um, so if you need that, watch out for that. Key elements of the form, again, are um, you had the original area where you needed to make sure you were updating it with census number, contract number, number of units. You have to do your demographic information. And here is where you're going to list your advertising sources. So you're going to list here the targeted groups. You need to list them all out. Just don't put all because HUD does not like when you put all groups. So you want to put white, black or African American, Hispanic, all of those groups that apply. And then the contact person, address and phone. So these community contacts are could be um, social service organizations in your area, could be churches, could be different ethnic clubs, whatever groups you decide to use as your community contacts. And again, remember, these should really be targeted to your least likely to apply rather than general organizations. You're also going to look at your printed marketing. So not many people use newspapers anymore, but you could still be using newspapers, TV ads, uh, electronic media. So if there's a, a database online that you list with, um, Infoline 211, things like that, these are all going to be listed here with the targeted population for each different outlet that you are using. If you're doing a full package, you're going to be doing your completed and signed form, the documentation of your demographic information for your wait list, your residence, your census, and any other areas that you have to do. Be sure to include photos of your site signage that are going to show the fair housing logos, copies of any advertising materials like brochures or cover letters and any sample ads that you have. So those could be current or previous ads. 
for your five-year review package. You're going to use whatever it is that you're using to document the five-year review. Documentation of any demographics that you got. Any updated contact lists that you have. And copies of any materials you needed to update. 